Hey, what's up everyone? It's J-Lo back with another video. And today I'll be showing you all the raw satin ball recipe that I get my American Bully to maintain and keep a healthy weight instead of powder supplements. Okay, today I'm only doing the five pound ingredients. I have five pounds of ground beef, a box of whole grain cereal, a jar of wheat germ, a box of unflavored oatmeal, a jar of coconut slash vegetable oil, a jar of grandma's molasses, molasses syrup, whichever one you prefer to call it. I have a quarter eggs and I have a box of gelatin. All right, first you wanna get you some type of deep dish bowl with a high barrier because when you get the mixing, it could get a little messy. And first you wanna empty those five pounds of ground beef into that deep dish bowl. Next you wanna empty half of the whole grain cereal of your choice into the deep dish bowl, which is approximately about six cups. You want to empty half of the uncooked oatmeal, which is about 7.5 cups, which is good on fiber and protein. You want to crack open five raw eggs. And for me, since I have a larger breed American Bully dog, I will be including the shells inside the deep dish. If you have a smaller breed dog, you can dispose the shells. We'll be adding half of a 15 ounce jar of wheat germ, approximately about two cups, which is full of fatty acids, which also aids in a healthy coat, high energy, and mental alertness. Next, we'll be adding five packs of Knox unflavored gelatin. As you can see, that box only pertains four, so you may need to get two boxes. So be sure to add that extra pack because it is good for the bones, ligaments, tissues, tendons, and also the skin. Now grab that bottle of coconut oil, vegetable oil, add five or eight cups, approximately 10 tablespoons, and it'll give your dog's coat a great shine. Do the same thing with the Malaysia syrup approximately about 10 tablespoons. It enhances the fat digestion and amino acid metabolism, which is essential to helping dogs gain weight. Okay, last but not least, be sure to add that one pinch of salt, or you can substitute it for sea salt. Now it's time for the fun part. Be sure to grab you a spatula or some type of spoon. I always start off first to break up the eggshells and mix the ground beef and break everything down. Be sure to start all the ingredients to evenly blend it. I prefer to use some type of latex glove to take out all germs, or if you don't mind, you can just use your bare hand. But be sure to get deep down into that dish, flip that meat over, turn it over, twist it, toss it, turn it, do whatever it is you gotta do, which is good to have that deep dish barrier but just make sure you get it evenly blended. Now, again, since I have a larger breed dog, American Bully, I make me one cup balls. You could do half cups or you could just freestyle and do it with your hand. Once you have your quantity of meatballs, be sure to store them in the freezer until serving time. You can unthaw them in the fridge or you can serve it to them frozen, cold, add a little heat to them in the microwave, but be sure to keep them raw. Come on, Juice. Stay. Stay. Wait. E. 
E. Alrighty everyone, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video just as much as your dog enjoyed the satin balls. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell to help me keep my haters working. And me and my dog personally wanna say, thanks for watching.